Hi everybody, Brad Novak here and this is my spoon setup. So when I'm using a spoon ice fishing, I'm generally going for larger fish, i.e. walleye. Um, so I'm, uh, a lot of times I'm using a uh, larger bait. So this happens to be a quarter ounce VMC rattle spoon. Um, and because it's a larger weight uh, than, my, than what the, jigs, the jigging uh, baits that I use, I want to have a little stiffer rod. So this happens to be a 27 inch medium light. I like the medium light or uh, medium depending on, again, the size of, of my spoon. If I have a, a heavier spoon, I wanna go with that medium because if you're working it along the bottom, you'll see it, the rod spring like this and I wanna be able to kinda of control that action of the spoon. Um, the reason why I like the 27 inch is I like sitting back away from the hole a little bit, especially when I'm uh, working uh, bigger fish. So having a little longer rod gives me a little more reach. I'm not you know, compact and sitting on top of, on top of the hole. Uh, for line, I usually go with the straight fluorocarbon. Sometimes I'll go, if I'm going for, if I know there's pike around, I'll add a braid, uh, something a little stronger to a fluorocarbon leader. Uh, but in most cases, I'll just use a straight fluorocarbon. I like six pound. It seems to be that general uh, line weight that works best for me uh, when working spoons. Um, like I said, go with a, a heavier, stouter rod if you're using heavier bait. and. and maybe upsize the little heavier line. So this is my jig and spoon setup.